Wherever you are in life, ladies and gentlemen, you've got comeback power. I don't care how low you are. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have experienced. I don't care how devastated your life might appear to be. The shambles it might be in. There's a power in you that can enable you to be stronger and better than anything that's out here. Look at your life right now. If you want to keep on getting what you're getting, keep on doing what you're doing. You've got to be willing to change your ways. Your life is working. If you don't like what you have produced, you're a director. You are the star. You wrote this script. You produced this, whatever it is. If it's a hit, you produced it. If it's a flop, you produced it. Take ownership of it and decide to go back to the drawing board and rewrite the script that you are the star of. You have the power to do that. On this day, you can declare that I'm going to change. As you look back on your life, you can decide that I don't like what I produced here and I want higher ground. If you want to begin to make your stuff happen for you, I think that it's very important that you start trusting yourself. Listen to yourself. Listen to that still small voice within you. Don't try and make everything logical. There's some things about life that defies logic. Ladies and gentlemen, don't give your power away. You don't need anybody to approve your dream. It was given to you. If they can't see it, it's because it wasn't given to them. It was given to you. Hold it, nourish it, cultivate it, work on it. It's yours, it's your baby. Work on it until it comes into fruition. Learn to be your own booster. Start building yourself up. Start encouraging yourself. Start saying, I can do this. I can make this happen. Experience the pain. Experience the rejection. Experience the hard times. That's how you grow. That's how you develop yourself. That's how you begin to appreciate what you get. Most people like to feel like they're a king in the area of their comfort zone. They only want to do those things that they know how to do well. So if you want to begin to grow, you've got to put something out here that you can't reach easily, that has got to make you stretch, got to make you jump for it, got to make you get back a little bit and dig in, skin your knees and you come back again and you bust your lip next time. But you keep on and through that process, you learn how to leap higher. You start challenging yourself to dig deeper and then you discover some things about you that you don't know right now. Tough times never last. But tough people do, and you are tough. You're made of some special stuff. There was nobody here before you. You brought something here that was not here before you showed up. Guess what? Nobody's going to do your work for you. Nobody's going to write your book for you. Nobody's going to open your boutique. That has been given to you today. So I'm saying that as you begin to look at where you want to go, if you want to make it today and things are changing so fast, you have to literally run to stand still. I'm saying that you've got to make some conscious effort to begin to work to develop you.